Ponape, Micronesia is a beautiful island in the western Pacific Ocean. Like many developing islands, Ponape is home to a population struggling with high unemployment rates and limited financial resources. With partial funding support from CTSA, the College of Micronesia is conducting a Black Pearl Oyster project in an effort to create a realistic opportunity for local economic advancement. Now in its 10th year, the project has set a strong foundation for a sustainable pearl industry in Micronesia, thanks in large part to the hard work of principal investigator Masahiro Ito. From the start, we just simply wanted to produce the pearl oyster itself because of the, the lack of the resources. Uh, once we started uh, looking at the, the pearl shells, and I uh, instantly recognized that the, the quality or, was uh, different from uh, the black lip pearl oyster from uh, French Polynesia, Cook Island, or from Australia. The discovery that Micronesian oysters are different from those of other pearl producing nations prompted Masahiro to focus on grafting and oyster culture techniques in his research and training program. This focus resulted in improved pearl quality and the development of products that are unique to Micronesia. We're um, focusing now on two products coming out of the oysters. One is the round pearls and one is the half pearls. Um, uh, which uh, can be produced easier by local technicians. Round pearls and half pearls are a result of meticulous grafting work carried out by Micronesian technicians. Through the project's comprehensive training program, these local men and women have become skilled in grafting, animal husbandry and culture techniques, and jewelry making. They are grateful for what they have learned and the opportunity to provide a brighter future for their community. I learned a lot from Ito about chemical work, about spawning the animals, about the microalgae cultures. To me, it's, it's, it's really important for me, for, for, for the future, for myself and my family. I think that we need this project because it's important. Sell the pearl, half pearl and the round pearl. It's a good money, it's a good for, you know, help Ponape uh, to grow up. I have learned so many things from him, yeah, through this project. I wish the future and I hope the fu this future will can support the community and especially Ponte State to have this kind of program. Having skilled local technicians and a local hatchery allows for continuous training without reliance on foreign experts or the capture of wild oysters. Our hatchery uh, uh, technology can produce uh, an abundance of uh, the materials, pearl oysters, to be used for the training material and uh, training the, the local uh, uh, grafting technicians. So in that case we have an uh, advantage compared to the existing industry and the most of them, or, or not most of them, all of them uh, rely on the, the wild stock uh, resources. The hatchery work in Ponape is setting a new precedent in the pearl oyster industry. Now the project is focusing on local commercialization. As a land grant uh, pearl project and we are now in the final uh, stage and we are encouraging it, uh, the commercialization for the the lo uh, local industry to go first and uh, such as uh, community-based uh, power farm business or uh, fam family base and then we also uh, started uh, inviting a, a foreign investor to look at this place. A few coastal communities have already begun to develop their own farms with the help of the project. Their success will rely heavily on the assistance of the Micronesian technicians who are ready for the challenge. You know, what I learned, I want to teach people and show them what we did and what we need to do. I just continue to extend my knowledge to the community people so they can continue this project in the future. In addition to developing the production side of the industry, the College of Micronesia is promoting the products internationally. The project work group believes the unique colors, shapes and designs of Micronesian pearl products will set them apart from the competition in the global pearl market. This prospect for economic growth in Micronesia is just one example of how aquaculture can make a positive impact in the Pacific Islands. 
For more information on the Micronesian Pearl Project and other aquaculture projects in the Pacific, please visit our website, www.ctsa.org.